these requirements are for app called RetroArch. How to dump your own games for playing? If you don't have your games, you should Google like this. First, you have to download RetroArch from App Store. This is the logo. Once you open the downloaded app, you will see the menu like this. To change how it looks like, go into the settings. Then click on user interface. Then scroll down to the bottom where you can see menu. Click on it. I changed it to XMB to make it look like a PS3 home. Remember, every time you change a setting, you have to go to the configuration file and click on save current configuration and close the app and reopen it to apply the settings. This is better with your controller. These are files required for emulators to run. These are usually downloaded and you can check in load core options. Now coming to the controller setup, you can actually connect multiple controllers to your iPad like I have connected now. To configure, go to settings, then select input, click on retro binds, then port 1 controls to configure your first controller. You can see your device name at device index. To reconfigure your buttons, you can select individual buttons or you can just click on set all controls. RetroArch automatically maps, but you can check once. You can configure port to control similarly. The next step is to import ROMs. When you download RetroArch installed on your device, you can see the folder created on my iPad. You have to copy and paste your ROM game files into your RetroArch folder like this. You can even replace your saves so that you can continue those saves on your device. After you copy your ROMs into a folder, open RetroArch again, then go to the scan directory, hit on it. You should select the directory in which you saved your game ROMs and select that. Click on scan this directory. It should take a couple of minutes depending on how many games you saved. For me, it took around 5 minutes. By the way, RetroArch can also run uh, PSP games, but I didn't show this in the video because PSP emulation is not that good on RetroArch. Comment down if you want me to make a video showing how to play PSP games on iPad. Now once your games have been uh, loaded, you can see them on your device like this. Select your favorite game and you can actually start playing right now. But before that, go to the homepage and online updater. It's better to update all these things and uh, click on playlist thumbnail updater as well to get your box arts. Don't worry, updating these things does not consume a lot of memory, so you can update them pretty safely. And there is one last step as I ask you to do before start playing games, that is to set up your BIOS files. Again, as I told for the ROM games files, I can't give you the BIOS files as well, but this is how they look. And for them, you have to save them in a specific folder called system directory. You can change it as I showed here as well. Now, whenever you try to play a game for the first time through RetroArch, you'll see a menu like this to asking you to select a core. Don't worry, any core will work perfectly fine usually. If you want a specific core which works the best, comment in the comment section. Oh, you will be seeing a horrible gameplay of me struggling to control two controllers at the same time. In the top right corner, I just showed you how I am controlling two controllers. I mean, I just wanted to show that both controllers are working. I'm using a DualSense controller and a 8-bit Dope Pro 2 controller. Now you successfully started your iPad retro game journey. Just grab your two controllers, one with your siblings or friends and start enjoying games. Just in case if you are having any problem with PS1 games, it might be because you selected a wrong BIOS file or placed it in a wrong folder. This God of War gameplay is from PP, SSPP. Comment down if you want to have it. Thank you for watching.